up here and you say, lift the name of the Lord, Larry. And right behind him, I'm going to ask to say, Amen. Say something for God, Brother Larry. I'm glad to have him home with us. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Good to have our Brother Larry home. Amen. What a mighty God. What a mighty God. We yes, serve. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. I can't speak for yours, but I can speak for mine. He's a mighty God. He's yes. a mighty God. Yes. You might ask somebody, oh, how you doing? Oh, well, not too well. My, uh, well, my God is mighty. Amen. 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 Right. We moved, like Brother Marlowe said. Yes. Year ago, a week or so ago. Yes. Not like a bunch of Gator fans in Cajun Town. <laughs> they don't like us too much out there, brother. <laughs> uh, we have the last name of Wingate, and uh, up there there's a lot of Tippidos and yes. A Bears and Capillaries and Pompanos and Boy, I want you to know, like a fish out of water. Let's see more. They eat a lot of crawled eggs, crawfish, uh -huh. and catfish. Yes, catfish. <laughs> and grits. They still got the grits. And all, everything I said, that I don't have a problem with. Because <laughs> I will eat it. But there's nothing like home, Brother Marlon. Oh, Amen. We're glad Amen. you're home. And yes, uh, 52 years, 51 years to live right here. Yes. 27 of them right here. Yes. Yes. And the house I lived in down there wasn't home. This was home. This is home. That's right. That's the truth. It's where I met my wife. That's right. Thank you, Father. This is home. It's home. Yes. Hallelujah. Absolutely. It's where all my children were dedicated to the Lord. Hey, right. 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 This is home. This is home. Right. I miss the beach. I miss my family. Tracy, not so much, but the rest of them. <laughs> But I miss y'all. Amen. Amen. I miss this place. Come on. We miss you. I miss this feeling. We miss you. Yes. There's nothing like it. No. Amen. 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 Go where you want. Say what you want. But there's nothing like a feeling at home. Nothing. My relatives can treat me real well when I go to their house. But it's not like home. Like home. That's right. It's not like home. Amen, Brother Larry. Amen. Old place like home. Amen. We watch every service. Thank you. On the internet. Thank you. We're trying desperately to find a place to put our feet in up there, and we will. Yes. It's there. Yes. I know God's looking after us. Yes, he is. But um, yes. Yes. I want to say thank you to this church. Praise God. I want to say thank you to my family, to my brother-in-law. The prayers that went out. Uh, it's awful being a thousand miles away, and you get the call. Am I right? Yes. You're just spellbound. Yes. I can't run down to Tampa General. <coughs> I can't run over Brother Matt's house and say, let's, let's come together and pray. I can't run down to the church and throw myself at the altar and say, pray. I'm a thousand miles away. But let me tell you something. God here is God there. Yes. Amen. Amen. He heard y'all here. He heard us Amen. there. There's no doubt. No doubt. Brother Marlowe was talking about Brother Paul and how he was going to give up an organ and had peace with it. Had peace with it. And Dean, and Dean ready to receive it, had surgery, had peace with it. That's God. That's God. That's the mighty God that I serve. To have peace with that. And I think the testimony is, <coughs> correct me if I'm wrong, but Paul got eight pounds of weight. Yes. Eight pounds of weight. Yes. Yep. You know what picture came into my mind? A man laying his son down in the office. Amen. Had peace with it. Amen. But there was a mulberry bush that rattled. Yes. There was a donor up there that God said, That's I got it. this. Amen. That was God said, I got this. And brother, you can help, and I can help. And when God says, I got this, he 
Trust in God. Amen. Where are we? Right here. Trust in God. Where are y'all? Right here. Trust in God. Amen. 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 If you go on down, her husband, I'll just try to paraphrase this. I don't want to be long. But her husband, she's a godly woman. Yes, she was. She went regularly. Yes. Her husband was a godly man. Yes. They went regularly. Yes. And when he gave out his portions of the goods, one wife that had the children got portions and more portions for the children. Yes. And Hannah got hers. Yes. So she was blessed. Yes. She was in a how-to-do family, you could say. She had service, and when she wanted something, she all she had to do was ask for it and get it. She was, she was blessed, right? As we might consider her blessed. But she was lacking in one area. Yes. Had no children. Had no children. Had no children. <coughs> Just because they preach don't mean they're not lacking in some area. Amen. Just because they play the piano don't mean they ain't got a situation. Amen. Just because they sing in the choir don't mean they ain't going through something. Amen. Just because they sit in the pew don't mean they ain't got one issue. Almost everybody's got one thing. Yeah. It might be private. It might be secret. It might be out in the open. It might be in everybody's spot, business and gossip. But she had one problem. And you read on, you read on, and one wife's making fun of her, poking at her, harassing her about it. I don't know, Dad, nah, 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 I got kids and you don't. I don't know. Said that she gave her a fit over Anybody ever picked on you where you lack? Yes. Everybody ever come at you and make fun of you where you lack? Maybe you didn't mm -hmm. have a new suit. Yes. Maybe you didn't have a new dress. Yes. Maybe you didn't preach like the other preacher. Maybe you didn't sing like the other singer. Maybe you didn't play your instrument like the other person. Yeah. 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 Yes. And the one that was, was the one making fun of Maybe she had a shortcoming she was trying to hide from. Yes. Maybe her husband liked Hannah Moore. Love but you go on down, and you go on down, and you go on down, and she got tired of it. You ever been in that position? Done. I can't take it anymore. I can't go around that person anymore. I can't take them. Get on my nerve. She didn't quit. She didn't run. She didn't give it up. Go back, complain to her husband. I don't read where she complains to her husband about it. But she goes to church. Yes. Praise God. Goes to church. And you're talking about praying. This woman prayed. It said, the, it said the countenance of her face was distorted in such a way that the preacher, the, 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 the elder of the church, the priest of the church, saw it. Could you? Now you, we've been beside. I've sat beside people like that. Yeah. <laughs> I've come into church, so I'm not sitting by that. I'm, that's going to get crazy right there, <laughs> yeah. huh? Yeah. That one's going to get beside themselves in worship. That one's going to get beside themselves in praise. That one's going to get beside themselves in prayer. Watch out! Yes. But boy, you get yourself in a situation where you got to be that person. Pray. With everything you got to pray with. Yes. And then pray some more. Yes. Down on the altar. You're not worried about who's thinking about you. You're not worried about what your face looks like. You been there? You been there? Yes. I have. I can't speak for you, but I've been down on my face prostate. Amen. Yes. Saliva and tears, and I didn't care. I needed help, and I needed help from God. Yes. Amen. Hannah got there. Praise God. She got there. And then the priest walks over and says, are you drunk? Because they had a feast prior to that. But anyway, she said, no, I'm not drunk. I need help. I need help. And the priest said, go the way. God's heard your prayer. Praise I remember Brother Marlon telling me stuff like that before. What, is he, what does he know? He didn't know what I was even praying for. He's going to come down here and tell me God's heard your brother there. He don't even know what I'm talking about. He don't even know why I'm down here. But something told him that something told me, I got it. Praise the Lord. I got it. Something told Dean not to worry about it six years ago. You're going to get it. Amen. I remember somebody prophesying over him saying, you're not going to die from that kidney. Amen. Might be something up, but it ain't going to be that kidney. Amen. Church, don't ever underestimate the power of prayer. Amen. 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 
Amen. Don't ever. Amen. Don't ever let something or someone or somebody or something get in your way before prayer. Amen. Amen. It, age has nothing to do with prayer. That's right. Amen. That's right. Age has nothing to do with prayer. Absolutely. 17, 13, you can throw yourself before the altar and pray. Don't worry about your neighbor, what you're wearing, what you didn't wear, who's looking, who ain't looking, the TV, the video, the YouTube. Don't worry about it. Yes. Amen. Amen. She didn't get her answer right away. She still had to have Samuel. Praise God. But she dedicated Samuel to the Lord with no promise. No promise of another child. Amen. You ever read that? He never promised her another one. She said, you give me the only one I got, and I'll give it to you. That's what she said. Amen. She didn't say, give me more after that. Just give me this one, and I'll give it to you. Amen. When's the last time you said, Lord, give me a better job so I can put more money in the offering plate? Uh-oh. Lord, give me a better car so I can pick up people on the way to church. I want to give them a ride. Lord, Give me strength in my legs so I can preach or or, or sing in the choir or or work in the offering yes. and work in the ushers. When's the last time you prayed for something and give it to God? Boy, come on, I got convicted. Oh, bless I you. got convicted. Yeah. And there's no doubt in my mind that Dean's going to have a scar for the rest of his life to remind him of God. Right. Amen. He's God. Amen. He's God. Amen. Don't forget you're God. I don't care what anybody else said. You belong to God. Yes. He didn't call you to his church. God did. Amen. He didn't give you the Holy Ghost. God did. Amen. You're a child of the king. Yes, He's the shepherd of you. Amen. God's entrusted you to him, but Amen. you belong to God. Amen. Don't ever forget that. That's right. Yes. No matter what state you move to, don't forget. You belong to God. Amen. Not that I'm recommending moving. I want to tell you what. You're talking about going to the wilderness. Yes. <laughs> the Spirit will lead you right into the wilderness. Yes. And the enemy yes. will come at you. He came at Jesus in the wilderness. Yes. Jesus took the word to him. Yes. He came at some other brother in the wilderness too. Yeah. One of them he lit up a tree and didn't even consume it. Yeah. The other one he put an angel out there and the, he said, are you with me or before we are kids? In the wilderness. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. In the wilderness is you'll be tested, but don't worry. Oh, yeah. God drove you there. God glory, led you there. Glory, glory. God will keep you through Amen. it. Amen. Endure it. Amen. Endure it. Amen. Look for that bush. Amen. Look for that angel. Amen. Look for that word. Amen. It's there. Amen. God gave it to us for a reason. It's there. Amen. And many nights, yes. as the head of my house, do I know what the neck is? Um, I prayed. It got tough. I ain't lying. It got tough. It got bad. Bless you. And I said, God, I know this is you. I know you brought me here. I know there's a reason that I don't see the reason, but I want to make it to that reason. And slowly, slowly, God said, I got this. I got you. And little bit by little bit, we didn't quit. We didn't turn tail. We didn't renounce God. We didn't say what we did was wrong. We didn't do none of that. We didn't give up. We stayed right there. And slowly, little by little by little by little by little, God started blessing us. I got my very first grandson on his way. He'll be here in September. John Lamar's got a great job. John. We call him John now. He's growing out of John Lamar stage. He got a job. He got money. So he got bills. He'd be here if he didn't have bills. But he got bills and I'm not paying. Amen. But he'd be here. Anyways, church. Uh, God answered her prayer, and Samuel comes along and ends up anointing Saul first and then David. Has she not given that? But you know, God knew, God knew what he needed in the church. Yes. I noticed that. God knew what he needed in the church. God knew what he needs in the church. So maybe, God just maybe, God. what you're praying for and what you need is what God needs to have in this church. Amen, amen. Don't look at it like it's all yours. God blesses you to bless people. Amen. His blessings on you are to bless others. Amen. Praise God. 
We are thrilled to be home. Praise the Lord. I am ecstatic to be in this building. I appreciate all y'all praying for Dean. Uh, we're not here, but we love you. We love you. We love this place. I love each and every one of you. I got off to nobody. Not a soul. And I don't want any of y'all to have off with me. And if you do, tell me about it. We'll work it out. We'll get through it. Praise But church, stay in prayer. Stay in prayer for Dean. Stay in prayer for my wife and I up there in Louisiana. No, Brother Marlon. Yes, West on our home, and I, I'd be a liar if I said we were going to be there until eternity. Amen. Because I thought I was going to be here until eternity. So I don't know what God has in store for us, but I know God has his hands on us. Go with them. You know God has his hand on you. Hand over them. I mean, I mean, come on. Do you know without a shadow of a doubt God has got his hand on you? Say amen. amen. Say amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Church, we love you. Keep us in your prayers. Keep Dean and his family in your prayers. Well, thank God. This child started singing.